Question nine is usually difficult, but I think this one was bearable. Uh, let's take a look at it. The diagram below represents a printed poster. A rectangle A, B, C, D is the part on which the text is printed. Uh, the shaded area A, B, C, D is 432 centimeters squared, and A, D is equal to X centimeters. So we have A, D being equal to X centimeters. Uh, let's carry on. A, B, C, D is 4 centimeters from the left and the right edges of the page, and 3 centimeters from the top and bottom of the page. All right, and the first question, 9.1. We're supposed to show that the total area of the page is given by A is equal to 3456 divided by X plus 6X plus 480. Let's go ahead and make sense of that. We have a rectangle. So the area of a rectangle is the length multiplied by uh, the breadth. So let's go ahead and see if we can have the length and the breadth in terms of x and multiply in order to find the total area. Well, we know that AD is x centimeters. So from A to D, we have x centimeters. From D to the edge, we have 4 centimeters. And then from A to the edge, we have 4 centimeters. It means that from this edge, to this edge, uh, let's call that our length. Uh, our length is equal to 4 plus x plus 4, right? So the length will be 8 plus x. Well, we have 4 from here to here, and then from here to here we have x, and then from here to here we have 4. So that length is just 4 plus x plus 4, which is 8 plus x that is the length let's go ahead and take a look at uh, the breadth let me just erase this first and see what we have from here to here we have three centimeters obviously and then from here to here we have three centimeters we just need the length from this point up to here how can we do that we have the area of the shaded area it is said to be 432 centimeters so we have 432 the formula for that area uh, would be ad multiplied by dc this is equals to 432 but we know that ad is x so we have dc being equals to 432 divided by x basically that is why we are given the area of a b c d right so here we have 432 divided by x so the length of the poster is 432 divided by x plus 3 plus 3 these three right here from d to the poster and this three from c to the poster plus 432 divided by x which is the length of dc so the breadth will be equals to 432x plus 6. Uh, this is the length and this is uh, the breadth. So we can say that the area of our poster in terms of x will be equals to uh, the length, which is 8 plus x multiplied by the breadth, which is 432 divided by x plus 6 so we just have to multiply these two brackets 8 multiplied by 432 is 3456 divided by x and then 8 multiplied by 6 what is 8 multiplied by 6 uh, that is 48 so we have plus 48 now we multiply x by 432. We're going to get 432x. Uh, there's this x on the denominator, so they will cancel out. Plus 6x. This will be equals to 3456 
divided by x plus 48 48 plus 432 that is 480 so we're gonna have 6x plus 480 this is exactly what we are required to show let's go ahead and move to 9.2 in 9.2, we're supposed to determine the value of x for which the total area will be a minimum. You know fully well, this is almost always the case. We're going to derivate the equation in 9.1 and equate to 0. Let's do that first, and we're going to talk about why we're doing that. So a of x is equal to 3456 divided by x plus 6x plus 480. Uh, but we can rewrite this, right? Uh, a of x will be equal to 3456 x to the minus 1. That is the same as divided by x. Plus 6x plus 418. Let's go ahead and derivate this using the power rule. We're going to have a prime of x being equal to minus 3456 multiplied by x to the minus 2 plus 6. Let's now equate to 0. 3,000 minus 3,456 x to the minus 2 plus 6 is equal to 0. x to the minus 2 is problematic. So let's write it as minus 3,456 divided by x squared plus 6x being equal to 0. We can multiply both sides by x squared. If we do that, we're going to get 6x squared minus 3,456 being equal to 0. So 6x squared is equal to 3,456. So x squared will be equal to 3,456 divided by 6. If we take square roots on both sides, we're going to have x being equal to 24 or x being equal to minus 24. So tell me, between x is equal to 24 and x is equal to minus 24, which one corresponds to the maximum and which one corresponds to the minimum? Let me know in the comment section.